Welcome back. We are in a bit of a problem in the sense that uh, I have finished a lot of integration, but I haven't yet made any handouts. You know, it takes a long time to put the integral sign from the word and then write the question. Oh my God. So after I do this, I might take a break to catch up with about 15 files I have to type out and upload before I proceed further. Anyway, my name is Osale Mohana. I'm a teacher of A-level maths and I've taught A-level math for a long, long, long time. My specialty is, of course, A-level math, both pure and applied, and for the pure maths, for the mechanics. I've taught mainly for the maths for about, I mean, I've taught A-level maths and for the maths for over 40 years. And my aim is to just share whatever I know with you to help you revise or go over what has been taught in school and prepare for the exams. So the last bit of integration, most of you know it as integration by parts or integrating products. To understand this, what is the derivative of UV? What is the derivative of UV? You know it is U dv by dx plus v du by dx. Yeah? Remember when you integrate a differential, you come across the original question. Suppose I put an integral here, an integral here, and an integral here. So I get uv equal to integral u dv by dx plus integral v du by dx. So what is integral u dv by dx equal to uv minus integral v du by dx. Of course, I should put a dx here, I should put a dx here, I should put a dx here. I will write it later. Right? So that is, in other words, if you want, if you got two different functions or a function that cannot be integrated directly, then you recognize it as a function and a the product of two, one function is a function. The other function is a derivative of another function. Yeah. So therefore, it's the formula, of course, which you have in the formula book and most of you know it is integral u dv by dx dx equal to uv minus integral v du by dx dx meaning identify u and dv by dx integrate dv by dx to get v differentiate u to get du by dx substitute in the formula and the patient rule applies. Keep on integrating till this integral sign goes. You keep on integrating till the integral sign. One is so that means identify u and v, u and dv by dx, differentiate u, integrate dv by dx. Substitute. That is, every time I end up forgetting to start the stopwatch. Doesn't matter. You don't have to know how it is derived, but you must know the formula. But then, I'll take a couple of examples. I wouldn't uh, solve it as such. Suppose I had integral x squared cos x dx. Suppose I had integral x squared x cube ln 4x dx. Suppose I had integral ln, a, ln 2x the whole squared dx. Suppose I had integral, I don't want to use the inverse trig. Now, 
that goes into further math. Suppose I had integral x e power minus 2x dx. And suppose I had integral, I'm not going, I'm going to do all this, but first I want to go teach you something new. Suppose I had integral x cube e power minus x squared dx. And that's suppose integral e power minus x squared dx. Boom. And suppose an integral e power 2x sine 4x dx. I think I've considered all possibilities. Okay. I hope so. Okay. Now, I need to identify u and dv by dx. See, I could call u equal to x squared, dv by dx equal to cos x. But nothing prevents you from by from calling dv by dx as x squared and u as cos x because you can differentiate both, you can integrate both. Let me have a sip of water. You know, today something funny happened. I was bringing the water bottle from home from the fridge. I thought I picked water, plain water. I ended up getting fizzy water. Oh my God. Doesn't matter. <coughs> right. Now, which one? The logic behind will be, see, you're going to integrate V. When you integrate cos, you get sine. You're going to differentiate U. You're going to get 2x. So, from x squared, it has become 2x. I'll have 2x sine x dx. Again, I can use integration by parts. So, u as x squared and v as blah, 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 2x and v as that. When you differentiate 2x, I get 2. What if by any chance you did this? When you integrate x squared, you get x cubed. When you integrate x cubed, you get x power 4. When you integrate x power 4, you get x power 5. In other words, your integrals keep on remaining. Remember I told you, repeat the mixture till the patient is cured or the patient dies. But as a maths doctor, you don't allow the patient to die. You cure the patient. That means get rid of the integral sign. The disease there is the integral sign. Yeah. So therefore, here you say, x squared is u dv by dx is cos x. Agreed? Here. Yeah. When I differentiate x cube, I get 3x squared. When I differentiate 3x squared, I get 6x. When I differentiate 6x, I get 6. So therefore, my u must be x cube. Okay? So if you were to call u as x cube, your dv by dx will be ln 4x. How do you integrate ln 4x? You cannot, there is no function which gives you ln on integration. In the formula list, yeah, if you have 1 over x, you get ln x. But integral ln x, there is no formula. You can't integrate. So if you cannot integrate, then your u has to be, remember in the beginning of integration I told you, you can differentiate anything, but you can't integrate any function. There are functions that are not integrable at all. Okay. So, and your dv by dx is x cube. Here, you only have one function. ln 2x the whole squared. All right. I can't integrate ln 2x. So, I have to differentiate. But what do I have? How do I integrate? Because remember, I, cannot, I can't only differentiate. I need to integrate some function. I don't have any function, so I'll call it as a 1, and then say u equal to ln 2x, the whole squared, and dv by dx is equal to 1. But what about here? When you differentiate x, you get e power minus, sorry, you get 1. So you can get rid of x, so here u equal to x dv by dx equal to e power minus 2x. Here, 
x cube gives you 3x squared, 3x squared gives you 6x, 6x gives you 6. So, you can reduce the power by differentiation, yeah? So, therefore, your u should be x cube. Then, you have to integrate e power minus x squared. Only e power minus kx you can integrate. You cannot integrate e power minus x squared. You can't integrate e power root x. You can't integrate e power minus 1 over x. You can't do anything. So, in this case, you have to call e power minus x squared as u. Then, x cube becomes x power 4. So, my powers keep increasing. What do I do? I am never going to get rid of this. This is one of those cases where you give up because, or the patient dies because you can't solve it. No. What do you get when you differentiate x squared? What do you get when you we will take that up later. This one impossible because you cannot integrate e power minus x squared. So, suppose I put a 1 and say e power minus x squared is u, yeah, and then uh, dv by dx is 1. When I integrate, I get e power dv by dx is, gives you 1 gives you x, x times uh, minus 2x e power minus x squared. So, it becomes 2x squared e power minus x squared. You can't integrate it. So, the question becomes more complicated. You please, I know I have some of my genius students have come up with some of them. e power x gives you e power x. So, e power minus x squared gives you e power minus x squared. But x squared gives you 2x. So, minus e power minus x squared over 2x plus c. Boom. You cannot you can only multiply or divide by a constant, not a variable. The derivative of minus x squared is not a constant. So, you can't apply the formula. You can't use substitution. You can't use integration by parts. That is one of those questions which I told you. Some functions can never be integrated. That's one such. Here, e power 2x sine 4x. e power 2x is u. Differentiate e power 2x. Again, differentiate e power 2x. Again, differentiate e power 2x. Doesn't go. It keeps on repeating. Sine gives you cos. Cos gives you sine. Sine gives you cos. Cos gives you sine. It keeps on repeating. So, no, no, look, in all the cases where we call u as x squared, u as x, uh, uh, things vanished. Here, nothing vanishes. Here, it does not matter. Normally, uh, I, I would say u is sine 4x v is dv by dx is e power 2x. Here, of course, I will start with t equal to minus x squared. We will see that later. Okay? Now, it is so confusing, is not it? Sometimes, I say use u and x. Sometimes, I say use dv by dx as a function of x. How are we to know when to use what? Of course, some of your teachers will have told you use common sense. If things are reducing and the other function can't be integrated, it doesn't matter whether it reduces or not, you have to call the other one as you. Do trial and error. If it doesn't work this way, try the other way. Or by inspection, you should know. But there is a shortcut, not exactly a shortcut. Uh, a method of identifying u and dv by dx. I will put it here. I don't think you will find this in a textbook. I learned it when I was in college and I am passing it on to you. Now for A level students only, use L I A T E C. For the math students, you, oh sorry, A level students use that. For the math students, use L I A T -E H E C. Ah, what is this? L stands for Ellen. I stands for inverse trig or inverse hyperbolic function. This is for further maths. 
A means algebraic. X x squared x cube x plus one. E means integrable trig functions. E means oh h means hyperbolic. E means e power k x only. C means constant. If you remember LATEC, then I will show you how I will use red, I think, to show you here. Suppose I write LATEC. X squared is algebraic, cos x is trigonometry. Look at this. If you move from left to right, A comes first. Whatever comes first is U. Whatever comes next is dv by dx. With the same thing, I gave you the logic. Let's look here. L A T E C. X cube is algebraic. Log is L. L comes before A. So your U is ln 4x. Your dv by dx is x cube. Here, L A T E C. There is an L and a C. So your U is L and 2x the whole square and your D B by D X is 1. Here L A T E C. It's an algebraic and an exponential. So U is X, D B by D X is e power minus 2x. Here doesn't work because e power minus x squared cannot be integrated, so you have to use a substitution, which I will show you later. That's out. Here, L A T C, I have a, I have a T and an E, that's how you are U and D by T. So you don't have to worry about which should be U, which should be DV by DX. You can use L A T E C. Or for the math students, if you have an inverse trig function, then Follow the same rule. When you read from left to right, the one that comes first is u, the one come that comes next is dv by dx. Okay. How to apply this? I will take up in the next lesson. All right. Have a nice day. Hello. I want to take this opportunity to propose. A vote of thanks. I would like to thank Vivid Innovations Private Limited and Commerce Forum for uh, so generously giving up their uh, studio and the facilities and the services of their uh, technicians to record all these videos for free. I think that needs to be acknowledged and appreciated. Thank you very much. And my special thanks to Mr. Nitin Mahadevapa, Mr. Nishant Guruswami, and Mr. Sadan Kumar DN for all their help and assistance in getting these videos ready, uploaded, and launched. Thank you very much.